All praises unto Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. And honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a quick video on the title that you see presently before you. And um, the situation that's escalating out there. Although it's not publicized out there in your mainstream media. But that's to be expected with the deception that um, these different governments is pushing forth. Okay, so it says Plan B fifty B fifty two. The image that you got there in front of you is what's known as a B fifty two bomber, all right? Designed for uh, delivering, you know, uh, nuclear weapons. And as you can see from the title, they're in progress with practicing these drills. And they, in, in in Norway, that's the U.S. government, by the way, and they want to practice these drills with Russia in mind. Okay, so we're gonna read this article. And we, you know, I'm gonna mention a few points. I'm gonna reference a few scriptures. All right. So this is Plan B52, the United States to practice a nuclear attack on Russia in Norway. Okay. So that should let you know exactly how these elites is thinking. And this was posted on Thursday, March the third. Okay. So we're talking about seven days ago. All right. And it says if someone considered that, it is if someone considered the Americans, the American talk about Plan B lacking specifics. Namely, the ceasefire and so on and so forth. Now, the sp uh, the specifics have appeared, right? It says this is this is the Plan B fifty two. Even if it's not even it is not if it's not directly relevant to Syria, but refers to completely uh, a completely different um, geography. All right, because what you had out there is Putin was pretty much taking out all of them so called targets that the Americans were so called taking up. All. The real the reality of the situation is that Americans weren't taking down nothing. They was pretty much trying to take down Assad, not ISIS. All right. So the you know the Russians you know played 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 pulled pulled them up on their own card, rolled up in there and you know bombed the hell out of them ISIS guys. All right, because the Russians got a vested interest in what Assad. Okay, so it says, but the main the main thing is that. Uh, but the main thing is that it is against Russia. It says at the pent at, and, and at the Pentagon, wherever and whoever they fought, they never dream about another victory after all. Okay, and it says and again there is a law of negative energy conservation. All right, if you lose something in one place, namely they lost out there in Syria. All right, and it's exactly what it looks like in Syria, and in another you will certainly gain something. Right, threefold hopefully. All right, and it says that's why this large-scale military exercise in Norway is precisely three strategic bombers B-52s that will practice applying simul uh, simulated, as they call it, nuclear strikes against ground targets. All right, so and and another thing to bear in mind is that whenever they have these drills going, 9/11 or, or and so on and so forth, the shit some, shit sometimes plays off, man. All right. So if when this, you know, if 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 this drill, if it manifests that this drill suddenly turns into nuclear war, hey, we've learned from history that's how the American conduct their governments. They'll say they're gonna do a drill, right? Turns out it's not actually a drill. It was actually gonna do that thing in the first place. All right. It says to remove all doubt about whose land must shudder from this, the U.S. media just say that the maneuvers are stated as support for u.s allies concerned about the possibility of russian aggression and you've seen that a lot in american news media talking about the russian aggression russian aggression russian aggression and too much influence of russia on um in europe all right but the reality of the situation is too much american uh, uh, uh influence out there in europe and that's why you got troops all the way down the border of russia all right garrisons if you will of American troops out there all the way down in, in, in along the borders of Russia. See, them man know out there that are situated right along them borders. They know the situation. They know what's happening. They know they know that they're in World War Three. And you know what? I've spoken to some of these guys that come back from um what they know as um being stationed, man. So a guy will be stationed, come back, see his family and that. And you say, yo, what's going on out there? You say, yo, man, we're about to get into World War Three. Here's the irony of the situation. That's going back a couple, you know, couple years, man. And they knew from back then, but see, you wasn't getting this kind of information back then. You wasn't getting articles like this from back then, but now you're seeing it, man. All right? So really, we're already in that World War Three, man. Okay? These are just, this, it's like a battle, right? It's like the olden time battles that you used to play out, naval naval battles that used to play out there on the sea. All right? Does it mean just, you know, the, the, the ships are facing each other, all right? The battles already began, man. 
Now, if the sh ships are docked and they're in their respective countries, guess what? You ain't in a situation where where war can take place, man. But if they're facing each other and they're already, you know, the, the cannons is there, all right, which is your, your modern-day B-52 bomber, right? The cannons is drawn, all right? The cannons are positioned. The battleships is positioned, all right? You just haven't had the red button being pressed, okay? So it says there, to remove all doubt from whose land must shudder, the U.S. has... Uh, so I read that bit, so it says quite unpleasant but now uh but now even this is not too much but general breedlove the commander of the allied armed forces in europe announced that the u.s is going to fight and defeat russia right they're going to fight and defeat russia and says and it's high time to answer for it it says but they cannot i uh, have exercises at the range in nevada in nevada after all for uh, and he says a a for exercise, uh, a for these exercises in the, in fact, they are called cold responses, right? So they call these exercises they you know that they're doing cold responses, right? And it says cold probably not being in uh it is because it's prudent in the north it's it's prudent or in the north, it's just they have not it's like yeah. it says it is just that they have not simulated their atomic charge are so close to us perhaps since the cold war all right so the cold war the ancient cold war spirit returning all right all right and it says and the entire europe must calm down in the knowledge that the pentagon will do anything in order not to give up to russia and it says it if even if it takes nuking right within the old world just in case actually that's what Brit love says and says the, this is the quote it says the united states is ready to fight and defeat russia in europe and it says as for keeping europe safe he did not say it worse. So it, he's talking about here keeping Europe safe, and that's why they're gonna take the B-52 bombers out there. But the actual action was the actual stuff that he's gonna do. He's talking about how he's gonna go out there and he's, and he's gonna you know cross pretty much fight and defeat Russia out there, man. So there you have it, man. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, and you know you got a depiction of what a B-52 nuclear bomb and, and look at that, man. It's a hell of a lot of missiles, man. Hell of a lot of you know nuclear weapons, and these things ain't you know a B-52 bomber ain't ain't no small thing, you know. In fact, I'll close it down. I don't know what's gonna load up, Nick, but you know them 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 things ain't small, you know. They they're big, so you know they'll be carrying payloads, man. So pretty much with that, I'm gonna say all praise unto Yah by Shimei Shai. All right, double honesty, the apostles of GMS, honesty brothers that be pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.